um, play the new COD a lot, and I think I might do it that way. I might use that thing as like a gaming PC and shit on console kids with my mouse and keyboard. You should just have fun, just teeing off on kids, getting used to the control. I got I got inspired by somebody's YouTube video where they were like, "If you use a mouse and keyboard on Xbox, you are literally a cheater." And I was like, <laughs> "Really?" <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, it's "It is a easy, massive huh? advantage, and you are going around the way the game was even designed." And I'm like, "Really?" <laughs> so like, we're gonna see. We're gonna, You're I'll not dissuading talk. Kyle at all. Yeah, I know. I would imagine you would get. Is it called auto assist? Aim assist. Aim aim, assist. I'll turn yeah, that off. Plus a mouse. You won't get aim assist if you plug in your Xbox or plug in your shit to it. It's not true one to one. Like it does, it acts as if your mouse is now a controller and not as if you are using a mouse and keyboard. So I know it sounds weird, but it does not feel as good. It's the same shit with okay. when you're using like the Zim. <laughs> so, uh, which was that like plug in your keyboard or your keyboard and mouse that everybody used for years. So you think yeah. it feels worse. I, I had it this does. imagination that I'm it would try. be a mouse with aim assist, that it would suck no. you on target. What do you, why would that ever happen? Everybody because would use that Because a controller has then. aim assist, and that's what Kyle's saying, that everyone yeah, uses but it. Yeah, nobody would do it. No, it doesn't but, work that way. Maybe promise. Xbox has a different, differentiate no. whether using a controller or... Well, no. <laughs> it's not how it works, I promise. <laughs> but well, I, look I want it to work that way. I know. <laughs> I know you do. It's not going to be like playing Halo on PC and you're like, wow, I'm incredible. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want it to be. That's exactly uh, what no. I want it to be like. I want to be like, how do we get that? And everybody's yeah. goofing around with this jiggly ass thumbs. Yeah, I want, I want everyone else to have to play with a Guitar Hero controller. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, yeah. I have a mouse I saw a guy, pl- dude. I saw, I a guy saw that flute clip COD. too. <laughs> I saw a guy playing COD with a flute. <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, that, sniper. A he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like slowly moving the crosshairs. <laughs> 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 really awesome. crazy. I like, like back in the day when people would use the Guitar Hero stuff. I thought that was ridiculous, but a flute might be the the weirdest way I've seen somebody do it so far. A flute is the coolest. I like that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that new COD. Um, I've seen some like pro- I don't know pros and cons to it. Like like people don't like there's no dead silence. People don't like uh, there's the dead silence. Pro- I saw in Field upgrade. Ward- Field upgrade. What is like, that? You just, you argue just with Tucker. It. He really seems to know. No, what I want to. No, I, I, I want to know. Uh, you, I was just I was just playing it before we got. But you get it. You get it every uh like uh, you earn it over time so it's like every like two and a half minutes but you can get upgrades get you can get perks to give it to you faster whatever but yeah you get it like once every like minute two minutes it's not bad okay because i That's saw a long time we're tweeting alive, out something like we're you don't not have to stay alive dead silence oh. it's it's just perpetually earned like throughout playing and completing objectives in games so um as far as i yeah. know so it's just yeah it's uh it's, so it's I... still a thing can I repeat what I and tell me if I have it right? So about a minute or two into the game, you get dead silence for the rest of the game. No, you get it for you get it. And then it's a like 15 or 20 second activation that you use specifically for like, ah, finally, oh. I can flank now. You can oh. save it up in search. So if you play search and destroy, you don't have it first round. You might get it in the middle of the second round and then you can use it at any point or you can just, you know, use it and then get it again later on. So it's like, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. It's an interesting okay. way to use it because, like, completely without it is no good, and completely with it is no the, good the, either. The footsteps are far too loud, and they turn them down. They're so loud, it is truly a game that just uh, you are not unless you're just like Adderalled out of your mind. You're not running around corners up. and just like yeah, because you can hear somebody. It's a lot of running. processing to do. No, it's just like very footsteps are very loud, so it's very and it's good audio, so you can hear where they're coming from, how far until they get to the door. Just sit there, aim, and then it's like. Time to kill is very quick, not too quick in my opinion, but like you can't fight back if you're getting scared. So no, it looks good to me. I, I'm I'm uh, I want to play uh, the the battle royale. It, it's not called Blackout anymore, is it? It's, Isn't it something? No, else? Warzone. Warzone. Okay, yeah, I want to play that. I want to play that. Um, I always like those. And what's the Tarkov like mode called? DMZ. DMZ. And Have you tried it? No, and we don't okay. know much. I played Warzone two, which is just Warzone, just new map, new uh, like terminals in warzone 2 and mm-hmm. uh like strike and some other like fan favorites dome yeah i saw um, some gameplay it looks yeah good. but the dmz we don't know much about it nobody's played it that i know of um and i hope it's like the tarkov-esque you know I- experience but i truly do not know i have no idea okay i'm glad that you're here yeah yeah um, yeah i i'm interested in that mode as well 
Um, mul- I, I don't know. I haven't played multiplayer COD in so long. I just don't, nobody has. It just seems so monotonous. <laughs> like, I don't, nobody. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I, I would... It's it, it's not fun anymore. The the era. I've said so many times that for me and for a lot of people, you can see it with the emergence of battle royale. The era of especially non persistent lobbies where you get in and you play ten to fifteen minutes. The games are shorter than that. It's now seven to ten minutes of gameplay, and then you and 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 basically it's for what. Like, to what end are you doing this? You're not mm-hmm. ranking up. There is going to be rank play later on, but you're not ranking up. You're you're just like, what, what's the point of doing this with your friends, playing the same over and over and over short form games versus like, you know, Battle Royales for me or Story or like 40 minute long Counter-Strike games. You, you have a lot more interaction and there's like a reason to go back. It feels less mind numbingly repetitive, I think. Mm-hmm. No, I agree 100. percent You know what? I've been thinking. I know Tarkov's going to add the uh, the arena mode. What mm-hmm. they really need to add is wager matches. That's they what. Need- no, exactly the same way that RuneScape. I'm gonna. If I love RuneScape, RuneScape literally has the same thing where they have um, the wilder. You have the game, right? You can play, but you can go out into the wilderness and you can PvP. It is a free for all kind of like there are rules, but it's basically like if you want to go PvP, consider that normal Tarkov. But they have arenas where you go up and you stake. You basically find somebody, you agree to things that you bet, you both agree on the things that are wagered, you yep. go in, you play, the winner automatically gets what's wagered, and you can do that forever. It's so much fun because it's completely safe and like more fair PvP. Do you know do you know how popular it would be on Twitch if oh, you had so if you had like the top streamers playing like high stakes wager match, free for alls, so let's just say, where they jump on some sort of an arena style map with t- with eight other with seven other players and everybody has put up like 1.2 million mm-hmm. and like 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 rubles in game you know and I we're gonna play first <laughs> second and third and five people just lost 1.2 million and yep. like a million of its prize pool and two million of it just goes poof or whatever however they want to play that game like it you might can- be a hacker's paradise but i still sure. love the concept well, well a, a hacker's paradise sure a booster's paradise shirt at like illegal account mm-hmm. trading, right? But I think that just because like they've already taken a lot of effort to like reduce the amount of like flow of money through traders and or through the flea market and shit. I think that I would just simply be happy with um uh two options. Bring whatever gear you'd like, you don't lose it, it's just PvP. Maybe you lose mm-hmm. ammo, maybe your gun gets damaged, but like you don't lose your gear. And then yeah. I would also like the opposite. Uh, give us both standardized gear and let me see who the better PvP is when you flatten and level the right. I I agree. Standardized gear is easier to do than you'd think in Tarkov. I mean, like like there's always a meta for the tier one, two, three, four, five, mm-hmm. and six armors. There's one that's the best one, is and and you just throw that on everybody. Give you know AKs. You could you could have generalized kits. You like said for weapon test. I mean, I find it hard to believe that Tarkov and I that that they get a, a normal amount of feedback on new weapons before they put them into the game. Right? It's slow and stuff, but the amount and the rate that new weapons add like get added to the game. What better way to stress test the balance of that weapon and how it performs than literally getting people only using that gun in the arena so you can get you know more data versus like waiting for somebody to find the mutant now we know yeah. that the entire wipe we have to wait for us to like change the mutant because it's too strong now yeah, i really like the idea of staying because there's testing. grenade launchers in the game yeah and grenade launchers in a 1v1 like it, say you go to factory are going to be op awful yeah and that too oh. like you could literally do factory 1v1 or you could do like you could make these uh the these experiences way more enjoyable to me as a player than you would if you were doing it in Call of Duty or Halo or any of the games that I grew up playing in yeah. the first place. It's but you, I, I saw Landmark say this: and you don't want to make it just factory with extra steps. Yeah. You know, like like you you can already go in and play private matches with your buddies with whatever gear you all want and set your own rules. Like all right, nobody bring a mutant, no no tier six armor. Like you can already do that. But what I would like is the wager match thing. I just remember like sitting on the couch next to White Boy and watch him just crush wager matches and just like get all those points and be like, man, you're destroying them. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, the, like, I want that concept. But with Tar, that was, I don't even remember what he was winning but in those wager matches, like, like what that currency was used for. But like Tarkov currency, I do understand. And it's hard to mm. come by. Like, like mm. that game already has that currency to like bet and gamble with in, in, in it. So it'd be so fun. I'd like that a lot. And what if you could set the amount you could agree upon like um custom amounts like two guys could agree to do like a 10 million ruble uh 1v1 or something that'd be neat 
Yeah, I just think that would get around a lot of the stuff that they're trying to stop. It ah, that would ruin it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it would be an issue. Like, I, I could, a rich friend you know, could bet a lot and throw the game. But yeah, I don't shame. know how to get around that. But I, I do love either. the idea it's of wager matches. It's a shame Cheetos ruined that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway. <laughs>